I think if I were to be born again, I'd like to come back as, a, as an athlete. If you put me down in front of a sporting event and you expect me to sit still, I have a very hard time, but if you give me a brush, I all of a sudden, I have a relationship going on. When I see something that grips me, like I see someone leaping or something like that, as soon as I like get out my brush, I see it some way that I never saw it before. I have to move with the actual figures as they move in order to really feel it. I almost have to feel as if I am one of the athletes. It's almost as if I, I'm um, vicariously uh, playing those sports with, with my brush and ink on the paper. I went from parallel motion, which was a work on a wall that was flat, and then in this piece I was trying to move off of the wall to create something more dimensional in space. It was, it was a real struggle to figure out how to take my ink drawing and scale it full size. Essentially, we've scanned in the ink drawings into this program called AutoCAD. Well, there's a, there's a beauty and a simplicity that I find in both the calligraphic and the computer technologies, and it's kind of neat to see how the two can work together. Ultimately, what it comes down to is when the, the, the metal pieces are sitting there and you're now putting them up on the wall, all of the computer technology, your maquette, your drawings, um, they serve a purpose up to a point, but then it's your eye. You have to, to go on your eye when you're putting it up on the wall. So the model is not my work, the drawing is not the work, the work is the final piece on the wall. Part of the challenge of this piece was to figure out how the light would look as it traveled across the piece to sort of understand the shadow play and depending upon the depth of the figures off of the wall, the figures would create a lesser or greater shadow. At night I had to consider how do I light it? Do I light it from above or do I light it below? Do I mimic sunlight? And for me the shadows really are like ink. In great calligraphy you have five colors. And so for me the shadows are like uh, one of those other colors of ink. Most people wouldn't think of a wall facing an expressway on the backside of a YMCA as the choice site for an artistic work. You don't expect when you're like driving by the strip mall and whatever to all of a sudden come upon this mural that has a sort of Asian influence but definitely a Westerner's eye about what it is that he is seeing.